Us humans are the only mammals who by choice delay sleep. But what happens after we actually fall asleep? From sheep counting to alien abductions, here are the most bizarre things that could happen to you while you sleep. And if you like the video, click the subscribe button and in the comments tell us about the weirdest things that have ever happened to you while you sleep. If you find Ned, let us know in the comments below. Number 11. They made me do it. I am sure you have heard tales of people being abducted by aliens or in different cultures. One can be paralyzed while awakening by the old hag. But how about in the Caribbean, where being strangled by the souls of babies not baptized? In older European cultures, like old Christian times, there were demons called the Incubus and Succubus. One was male and the other one was female, who would take their victims while they were asleep and have their way with them. Such visions of not being able to move and being overpowered by a supernatural entity may actually be explained scientifically. It's called sleep paralysis. This happens when you wake up from a disturbed REM cycle. You're in a state between the dream world and this reality. The body has not caught up with the brain, so one is unable to move for just about a second. It's so confusing that people wake up feeling like someone was actually there. This experience is worsened by sleep disorders that interfere with normal sleep cycles, such as narcolepsy. So, next time you wake up, unable to move, just give yourself an extra second for your body to catch up. No aliens, babies or demons involved here. Number 10. Smell it awake. We all have been awakened by the smell of coffee and breakfast in the morning. But wait, we're actually not being awakened by them. Perhaps the morning is about to begin, so you are more vulnerable to the sounds produced in the kitchen and become more receptive to the smells as well. According to research, while we sleep, we lose all sense of smell. Makes no sense, huh? You will think that the smell of someone's home catching on fire will wake up the neighbors and everybody else. But no, not the case. In a particular study, people were exposed to even the most obnoxious of smells. The result? Complete sleep. That is why the sound of the fire alarm and the dishes clanging do the trick of waking you up. Number 9. Did you hear that? Have you been having a fantastic resting time and your dream is taking you to a paradise destination when all of a sudden you hear an explosion that jolts you back into consciousness, waking you up in a hurry to find the source of the noise? Not to worry, unless there is an issue outside your room, it's all natural. It's been discovered that as your brain starts to get the circuits ready to fall asleep, some of them may actually backfire, giving you the perception of an explosion. It's all in your head and it's all right to go to sleep again. No need to bring the fire extinguisher to the room. Number 8 is the moon's fault. I am sure you have seen movies where the man turns into a werewolf during the full moon. Although the concept of the effects of the full moon have been widely spread from going crazy to more children being born during this particular phase of the moon, more than others, research have found a correlation with the moon and our moods. According to real facts, during full moon, the water levels of the earth rise and there are changes in the ocean waves, so why not on us? We are made mostly of water, no? Not on legends, but on real research, people during the full moon had their sleep cycles affected. In Switzerland, a study was done to track the sleeping cycles of different volunteers. The study took three years and all the participants had no access to a window or been able to see the moon at all, so no influence there. Here's what the results show. On average, during the full moon, the participants took 5 minutes longer to fall asleep and had 20 minutes less of sleeping time at night. Not much, but 25 minutes less of sleep at night? That adds up to a cranky mood real fast. Number 7. Breaking up with sleep We have been told for ages that we need to sleep about 8 hours a night, right? Well, studies have shown that our ancestors before the industrial era had their sleep divided into two cycles. The first one was just for a couple of hours until about 1 a.m. And the second, well, 
soon after that. Well, what did they do during the intermission? According to historians, people will get up, meet with others, make something to eat, have a physical interaction with their significant other, and then fall asleep again. Based on data gathering and further research, sleeping in two parts is very natural and actually not a bad thing. So next time you want to get up in the middle of the night, don't worry, it's all good. This cycle is more in tune with what your body actually wants to do. Number six, sexting. Yep, this is a new era kind of issue. Remember when the biggest issue was sleepwalking? And have you ever experienced it by you or seen someone else do it? Well, it is very common to read also amazing stories of people who, while sleeping, created masterpieces of art or played the piano or moaned alone naked and more. Well, there is a new kid in town when it comes to embarrassing, or in rare cases, incredible sleep actions. Our society has become so dependent on the internet, and most of us love to text that it is now advised not to text while driving. And now we also have texting while sleeping? Yep, you heard it. There have been reports of people sleeping and texting messages. Anywhere from incoherent to more sophisticated and quite eloquent. Either way, embarrassment is what surrounds this action that has become as terrible as walking naked at night. Well, you are totally unaware of it. So next time someone tells you that they don't remember sending you that text message, well, you may want to believe them. Number five, unnecessary math. There are books and stories that have us believe on the power of the sheep. For some reason, counting sheep in the past did the trick for people to fall asleep faster. The story behind counting sheep started with, yeah, you guessed, shepherds. At night, the shepherds will be so worried about predators that they will count the sheep over and over again. The result, a mind-numbing effect and a faster sleeping result. The mind was so occupied with the counting that they did not have anything else to think about but sleep. Nowadays, that will not work. According to research, a mild visualization of being comfortable in a relaxing place will actually do the trick. If you have to read a book on a subject you don't care about, I am sure you will fall asleep fast as well. I also have heard of people reading the phone book. Number four, no alcohol in this remedy. You may have heard of the old wives' tales of a shot of spirit to sleep well, like wine or brandy, you name it. But I am sorry to break the news to you. According to a study of people's drinking and sleeping habits, it was concluded that people who had even a shot were drowsy, all right, but their sleep got disturbed more than normal, had to wake up to the bathroom, and even had more nightmares than normal. Remember the sleep paralysis we talked about earlier? The probability of it happening increases as well. Number three, the fallback safety correlation. Since we've been alive in many parts of the world, there is a time change to adapt to the seasons and light changes as the earth goes around the sun. As the summer approaches, the days grow longer and the nights shorter. The opposite is true during the winter time when the snow and darker nights are part of the routine of life. But interestingly, have you ever considered the time change and the effects on your sleep? Perhaps you have. You may lose an hour in the spring and gain one in the fall. According to traffic and accident reports, it was found that the extra hour of sleep when changing the clock back to accommodate the daylight changes have been linked to less accidents. Yes, that one extra hour can surely help a society who is sleep deprived. Number two, we still don't know why. When we were children, we were made to take naps and go to bed to get a good night's sleep. According to the experts, babies sleep about half the day, and I am sure adapting to being outside the womb will require nap time to recover from the shock of being born. Other studies have also shown that being deprived of sleep can be as bad as drinking alcohol. Yet another one found that if you have to choose either sleeping or eating, you will actually survive better sleeping before you die of starvation. Being sleep deprived can lead to hallucinations and behavior and mood difficulties. 
While this is interesting and gender and age even play a role on how much sleep you need, the conclusion has been by many scientists that we still don't know why we need to sleep. Now, I'm sure you're curious with the gender and age statements. Studies suggest that women need one hour more of sleep a day than men, and small children, as well as teenagers, need more sleep than people over the age of 65. So scientists still don't know why we need to sleep, but surely it seems like we all know why we need to sleep. No cranky pants allowed. Number one, not just a cat nap. If you have a cat or even been around one, then you know it seems like they sleep forever and more. About half their days spent sleeping and just as sleepy are their bigger cousins, the tigers, with a 16 hour a day sleep time. Dolphins and whales only turn half of their brain off so they can sleep while the other half is awake so they can actually breathe since it's not an unconscious activity like most of other animals. Birds also do the half brain sleep thing in order to keep one eye open for danger. On the extreme end of sleeping spectrum, we have the giraffes that only need about two hours of sleep while koalas need about 18. Although all creatures sleep, we still have no clue as why some sleep more than others. It's not like the predators sleep more than the prey or larger more than small. Things that happened while you were sleeping discovered. What other things shall we explore? Let me know and click the like button. Thank you for watching.